You're talking about the kids and the Catholic worker, and I mean, this is really great. I mean, we literally ran out of food today. I mean, during dinner, we have plenty of beer, but we ran out of food. I mean, that's a good sign, a yeah. good thing. I mean, 160, 70 people here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is really great. Um, uh, talk a little more about your uh, personal, I mean, long life, long involvement with the worker. I mean, you're originally not, when you were moved to New York, you were going to college. Where and where you, were you from? Um, until I was 19 years old, I lived mostly around Green Bay, Wisconsin. Okay. And I went to St. Norbert College mm -hmm. for a year. And I uh, had very little idea what the worker was. I was thinking about joining a religious order or something. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I was, uh, uh, Dorothy would call it the arrogance of youth, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that I was very disappointed when I would apply, send letters to religious orders uh, expressing my interest, and I expected them just to want me right away. And I wanted some image. Expected them to be fighting for you, huh? And, 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 and also, also to, I had a romantic vision of being like the fishermen leaving their nets, uh, or St. Francis taking his clothes off in front of his father mm -hmm. and the bishop. Mm -hmm. And and I was very turned off by the fact that there was a process of years and years, and they wanted me to stay in school, which I really didn't want to do. So I got a letter from the worker. I wrote them, and um, they just said. Uh, I got a postcard back with just a few lines uh, describing what they do, and this says, if this interests you, you're welcome to join us. So I dropped out of school and got on a Greyhound and went to New York. And I'll tell you, it was still, my years there were kind of hard at the time. People didn't stay very long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was, by the time I left four years later, mm -hmm. I was still one of the youngest people in the community. Yeah. Uh, and I was also one of the people who'd been there the longest. But I'm sure you weren't quite no. as arrogant and changed by then quite a bit. Yeah, so, yeah it was, it was uh, uh, good years, but rough. Mm. But, but, and, 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 you're, and, and you're very kind. I think my, if my arrogance is, is uh, abated, it took longer or hasn't happened yet. But one thing I've realized when, I, when I've been back there to visit in recent years, uh, it really has come to me that I was really a screwed up runaway kid that they took in. Oh wow. And I had it's the mother was very of humbling because I, I had I had thought of myself as being somebody with a lot of gifts coming mm. to offer them and someone who had not been totally appreciated. Right. right. And I also feel found that the uh, older members of the community who I had resented the most were often the ones I came to realize were the people who were really nurturing me and taking care of me. Mm -hmm. and, and what uh, did your parents say? I mean, you went from great Midwest, nice middle class probably, go out to New York and be with a bunch of weird Catholic radicals and... Actually, actually um, my background is kind of a... Um, kind of... A, kind of rough and, uh, and and for everything the New York Catholic worker for me was coming to a place of security that I hadn't known before. Let me interrupt you one more. You will say modern, uh, modern